So I've been seeing people talk about this movie on TikTok. So I decided that I was going to give my two cents on this. So before I start, I'm not a film critic. I just like to make fun of things. So without further ado, this movie, however you pronounce it. So just to give a general plot behind it, it's about this girl who used to sell flowers. And one day she comes home to tell her mom some good news and finds out that her mom is dead and being eaten by rats. So naturally, she joins the circus and is working with some circus freaks. And that's when terrible things happen. But eventually, she finds love in a dwarf with magical powers. Let's get into it. So first off, I'm going to be talking about the beginning half of this movie, which I did not like at all. I did not like the beginning half of this movie. And I'll explain to you why. So this is where all the disturbing, where it gets its name, where people say that it should be banned, why it's banned. So this girl, whenever she gets home and sees that her mom is dead, her mom is being eaten by rats. And for some reason, her mom's just naked from the waist down, just being eaten by rats. So that's the first disturbing thing. And if that wasn't bad enough, she goes to the circus where they're seemingly constantly having orgies and raping each other. Because why not? That's what they need in life. Probably the most disturbing and messed up scene was one where the little girl, I don't even remember her name. First off, I don't remember anyone's name, to be completely honest. I couldn't care less what their name was. So this little girl, I'm just going to call her Little Girl. So there's these three puppies that Little Girl loved. And so she's taking care of them. She has them hidden underneath this house. But they're in this basket. She's giving them food and love and whatever. But one of the circus freaks, this person person right here it's a pretty nice looking girl right pretty cute looking girl well let me tell you what she does so this girl right here let's call her T let's call her T so T decides that she's gonna take these dogs and the very first dog she picks up it spikes into the ground like it's a fucking football then with the second and third puppy, she just stomps them to death. The guts just splatter everywhere. It reminded me of that scene from Open Lead. I believe it was the first episode where like R just fucking explodes and his guts go everywhere. Yeah, basically that, but in dog form. And then if that wasn't bad enough, they just killed this poor girl's dog. If that wasn't bad enough. Then they decide that they're going to cook up this puppy and just not tell the girl. So whenever this girl finds, whenever little girl finds out that this is actually her puppies that she's eating... Of course, she cries and breaks down. Because why not? These people are being terrible to her. And then bandage guy, bandage guy right here. This guy. There's just a random ass scene where he climbs into bed with her and starts licking her. Doesn't show anything else. He's not penetrating her or anything. He's just licking her. Because why not? And also, there's like four or five times in this anime movie. There's like four or five times where they lick each other's eyeballs. Where just everyone is licking eyeballs. There's one scene in particular that I kind of laughed at. Where this guy, butt ass naked. But there's just a guy there just... Slicking on an eyeball. And the girl is trying to leave. And if you read the subtitles, it <laughs> mentions that the person has a speck of dust in their eye. And that's why this dude is just... <laughs> but eventually all this rape and murder and whatnot comes to an end when she meets this dwarf with magical powers. Since he's in the circus, you're probably wondering what his skill is. What does he do? Well, since he has his magic, he climbs inside of a jar. This jar, to be exact. So he just, like, shrinks his body parts and kind of, like, squeezes his way through. And that's what his act is. And of course, because why not, he becomes abusive. The girl gets an opportunity to go and be a movie star and he rips it up and refuses to let her become a movie star this girl is little girl is probably like i don't know 14 15 this guy's probably in his 30s or 40s maybe even older than that but for some reason they're in a loving relationship and he refuses to let her become a movie star but she still loves him for some reason she still stays with him even though he acts like a dick and he was just a dick that one time like, the rest of the movie, he's not like that. But one day, well, one day, her lover, the dwarf, gets angry at a crowd and just decides to kill all of them. The scene that I mentioned from Openly, 
the guts exploding everywhere of the guard. Think of that again, but with an entire crowd of people. So after that, little girl and the dwarf decide, you know what? We should probably move. We should, we should get out of here. This isn't good. And the circus freaks are just okay with it. This is not how they are. These characters would not be okay with her leaving. Every other time she tried to get away from them, they would beat her, throw her against the wall, rape her, whatever. They would not have just let her go freely. But whatever. So they go, start a life of their own, and seemingly very early on, like the first day, Dwarf goes to get groceries and then gets stabbed to death by a little kid. This man, who blew up an entire crowd of people with his mind, this man that just committed mass homicide, he gets killed by a single brat with a knife. A little girl, she goes looking for him because he loves her, she loves him. She's going to go look for him. So the little girl is running trying to find him. And there's a random ass like rice farmer that you see, like slanted hat, wooden backpack, this guy. You just see him and he randomly coughs twice. She's run some more, coughs twice. Run some more trying to find him, coughs twice. Don't know why he's there, but he's there for some reason. Eventually, little girl assumingly comes past it a hallucination of her lover, the dwarf, and all the circus freaks just stand by a bunch of stairs. So, for some unexplained reason, she runs after them with a wooden stick. And she tries to beat them. Don't explain why she did this. She didn't seem angry. She just runs after them with a stick. And that's the end. That is how this movie ends. So my review on the movie is, out of enjoyment, what would I rate it? On a scale from 1 to 10, I would rate it a solid two or three. I did not like this movie at all. If anything, it just made me angry. But that's not really what the movie is about. The movie isn't supposed to be enjoyable. To me, it seems like you're just supposed to be disturbed. So on a, discur so on a disturbing scale, I would give it a six or a seven. And you're probably thinking to yourself like, what? I mentioned all this stuff. Rats eating people orgies all over the place, people being raped, dogs being murdered, abusive spouses. How is this only a six? With all that stuff, how is this only a six or a seven? Well, I'll tell you how. The way that I'll explain this is from the South Park episode, When It Hits the Fan. If you're not familiar with that episode, what it is is that people say the word shit so many times in that episode that it just loses all meaning. Shit doesn't even seem like a swear anymore after you watch that episode. That's kind of how I feel about this movie. Is there was just so many mean-spirited things that I just kind of lost feeling towards it. Whenever her, whenever the dwarf became abusive, I was just like, oh, there's something else on the list. It just kept going and going and going. The beginning half of the movie really just felt like a 14-year-old trying to be as edgy as possible. Just, oh, we need to add everything into this movie. Everything. That's what this reminded me of. It didn't really seem to have that much of a story. The plot really just seemed to be, all right, the next scene, how can we step this up? How can we make this worse? How can we disturb people more? How can we do this? How can we do that? It really seemed to lack on the narrative. The second half of the movie did better but still, the beginning half of the movie just completely wrecked that. It made me just want the movie to be over. It didn't disturb me, make me want to turn it off. I'm like, oh, 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 I need eye bleach. Oh, I cannot see this. No, what it made me want to do, this movie, in all actuality, just made me feel numb. If the beginning half wouldn't have even existed, I would have probably liked this movie. I would have probably given it an 8 or a 9. In my honest opinion, the beginning half ruins the movie. Brings up the question, the reason why this movie has become infamous on TikTok and why people have been talking about it now is because it's been banned in several countries. It's been banned in Japan and China and all kinds of other places. Do I think, does the insane creator think that this movie should be banned? No. 
Because even though it does have all this disturbing stuff in it, even though it has lots of rape, orgies, and so on and so forth, I have seen movies worse than this that have dealt with darker issues and have been a darker film that are not banned in any countries or only a handful. And like I said, the way that they went about it, the way that everything was structured in this movie, it just lost all meaning to it, like when it hits the fan. And the question is, would I recommend this to anyone? And the answer is no, I would not recommend this to anyone. Next question is, would I ever watch this movie again? And the answer is no, I, I would probably never watch this movie ever again. It's a memorable movie, but it wasn't a good movie. I'm the Insane Creator, and I hope you hated this.